Angela, it's already half past six in the evening and you still haven't come back home yet to cook our dinner. Is working that important to you? More than your own family? Mom, I'm about to go home now. I'm heading to the car park. I had to deal with a very heavy workload today, so I extended my shift a little bit to get everything done in time. Work, work, work. Honestly, it's the one and only thing that's going on in your head. Well, I'm not too surprised because it's not like it's the first time you've come home late anyway. I can't tell for sure if you were actually working or cheating behind my son's back. Mom, how could you come up with such a cruel and groundless accusation out of nowhere? I thought I'd already explained it to you. I have to work extra hard to keep this job because it comes with good wages. At the end of the day, we need money to support ourselves financially, right? I mean, Christian's salary alone is just barely enough to cover the daily expenses. Okay, okay. Stop lecturing your own mother-in-law. I've had enough of your preaching already. At this rate, you'd pass the age of 50 before you could give me a grandchild that I rightfully deserve. Are you even aware of the fact that every time my friends boast about how beautiful their grandchildren are, all I can do is just fake a smile and sit through the whole conversation in profound humiliation? I'm sorry, mom, but me and Christian still need to save up some more before we can actually make a plan for a baby. You already have a very clear idea about how difficult and expensive it is to have kids, right? Some more money? And how much is that exactly? I've already looked it up on the internet and they stated very clearly that it would take us over $300,000 to raise a child from the first day they come to life until the day they turn 18. If we lack funds, our kid won't be provided with the required conditions to develop both physically and mentally. Look, I've been waiting patiently for the last seven years without even saying a word about your delay in conceiving a baby. I don't care what you have to do to make it work. Just give me my grandchild already. Without saying a word? Mom, you do realize that you've been harping on me about getting pregnant since the day I set foot in our house. Oh, so now you even dare to raise your voice and criticize me, huh? Imagine if these insolent words could reach Christian's ears. Need I remind you that the clock is ticking and you'll soon be past the childbearing age? Mom, I sympathize with your concerns, but what can I do? We have bills to take care of every day. Money doesn't just fall from the sky, you know? And it's not like you're also working to pull your own weight and share the expenses with us. What? Why should I have to work? I've spent my whole life raising Christian. Now it's time that he shows his gratitude and repay my hard work. Anyway, don't try to divert the conversation. We were talking about your duty of bearing Christian's child. It's an obvious and undeniable duty that any wife has to take on including you. I'm well aware of that and I'm not trying to avoid it. However, it's not just the right time for us, you know? We're still on a tight budget. Listen, mom, I'm dedicated extraordinary effort so that I can have a chance to get promoted at work, which will allow our family to become more financially prepared when I decide to have our first child. As for you, mom, my biggest wish right now is for you to remain in silence, even just for a little while, so Christian and I can figure out out a way to make everyone satisfied. So you can decide to have a child? Oh, so now you're the one who gets to make important decisions in our house, huh? My current role in our family is nothing but a maid who has no voice at all and the only choice I have is to obey whatever your order is, right? Mom, you're getting me wrong. That's not what I meant. All I'm trying to tell you is that giving birth is no joke. It's the real deal. That's why we can't just throw our cap over the windmill and act without a well thought out plan. Fine, fine, whatever you say. I reckon you're just using your work as an excuse to conceal your incapacity to conceive a child. What? What are you trying to say? I'm completely normal and healthy and I am capable of getting pregnant. Don't hide from me any longer. I'm your mother-in-law. You still think that you can fool me and keep that dreadful secret to yourself? If you're infertile, why didn't you let me and Christian know from the beginning? 
so that I can find him another woman who can give me my grandchild. Mom, you're being unreasonable and difficult to put up with. You know that? Look, with the little patience that's left in me, let me make it clear to you one more time. I'm totally normal and I can bear Christian's child whenever I choose to. The only thing that is holding us back now is our financial situation. However, it will soon be resolved once I make my advancement at work and have a pay raise. Fine, fine. Whatever you say, you're the boss. I know you consider me worthless because I can't make any money of my own. Now I'm just a puppet to be pushed around and do whatever you need me to. Mom, I never said that. Please don't exaggerate and aggra aggravate every word that comes out of my mouth. Now, if you excuse me, I have to get going or else I'll be home late. See ya. Mom, I'm not going home tonight, so you and Christian just eat dinner without me, okay? And who will make the food? The dinner is not gonna cook itself, you know. I know, Mom, but just today, you and Christian eat out at the restaurant. I'll pay the bill. I have to go with my coworkers. They held a little surprise party for me to celebrate my job promotion. Oh, so you're finally getting promoted, huh? That's great. How much do they pay you for your new position? Now that I become the manager of the sales department, my earnings will be doubled, which is 12000 per month. Can you believe it? They even promised me a productivity bonus based on my performance. $12,000 per month with bonus? That's quite a sum of money, sweetheart. If we're reasonable with the expenses, we'll be able to buy us a brand new house and say goodbye to this dumpster that we're living in. Wait, maybe we can even buy Christian a new car. I mean, you know how he struggles every morning with his disaster on wheels just to get the engine started. If we we save up for four to five months, a new and even luxury car for Christian is definitely within our reach. As for me, I've been wanting that Gucci bag for almost all my life now. It's time I can finally realize the dream that I've abandoned for so long. Mom, but I thought we were going to save up to plan for my pregnancy. We've already discussed that. Pregnancy? What are you talking about? Now is definitely not the good time for you to get pregnant. You just got your job promotion. How can you fulfill your job? requirements and conceive a child at the same time. Change of plan. I suggest you should wait until we have kids after we buy our new house, a brand new car for Christian, and of course, that Gucci bag that I've always longed for. What? Are you being serious, mom? First, you hurried me to give you a child and you kept bombarding me nonstop, whether it's texting or calling or whatever ways you could come up with to disturb my work. Now, after getting to know my new salary, you suddenly made yourself a new plan and expect me to go through with it without consulting my opinion firsthand? What is wrong with you? Really? Oh, darling. There's nothing wrong with me. Nothing at all. I'm just so tired of the microscopic and deteriorated cottage that we're renting. Don't you think it would be perfect if we could buy ourselves a decent house? Well, of course I want us to have our own house, but we haven't discussed about me saving up for the baby. I really don't get you, Mom. Honey, I can already visualize how our new house should look. It should be a two-story house with three bedrooms, a perfect front lawn, beautiful green grass surrounded by a wooden white fence. The total floor area should be about 150 square meters. Oh, and we should also make room for a big garage as Christian will also be getting his new car soon enough. Maybe if we have enough space in our house, we can also build a little display room where I can show off my bag and perfume collection. Isn't this great? Mom, I just got promoted today and you already thought about purchasing all kinds of stuff. Please wake up from your dreams and come back down to earth. By the way, I also have something to tell you, Mom. What is it, my beloved daughter-in-law? Is it another good news related to work and pay raise? I'm so excited, darling. Tell me. Well, not exactly, but I guess it would just make you as happy. Mom, I'm glad to tell you that I'm now pregnant with Christian's kid. You're becoming a grandma. Can you believe it? Oh, me? Grandma? Why all of a sudden, Angela? Wasn't it you who said we should wait until our finances are more stable? Now, right when your future is about to get a little brighter, you just took me by surprise with such an announcement? What are you saying, Mom? I thought you would be over the moon when you got to hear about it. Well, of course I need my grandchild, but I didn't expect it to happen so abruptly, especially when you just got your promotion. But how many months pregnant? 
pregnant are you exactly? Oh, I'm just one week pregnant. Everything is still new and it terrifies me a little, but I know that with your help and experience, I'll be able to overcome any challenges and give birth to a beautiful, healthy child. Don't you think? <laughs> right, it's true. But what about your job? Wouldn't this child be an obstacle that hinders your chances of further developing your career path? I mean, I don't think your company wants to hire you when your belly starts getting bigger and bigger. They will see you as a burden for slowing down their workspace. And eventually they will cook up some dumb accusations like performance issues just to fire you when you submit the request for maternity leave. Companies are always like that. They know no morals or values whatsoever. It's true what you said, mom. I also thought about it long and hard. In the worst case scenario, I'll just find a new job. It shouldn't be that difficult because I'm pretty confident about the working skills and knowledge that I've gained throughout the years. What? There's no way I would accept that. You do realize that you're talking about a job which helps you earn $12,000 a month. Don't talk about quitting so easily. I understand that you definitely apply for a new company, but it also means that you have to start all over again. You will be back to the starting point, and then you will have to work even harder to climb up the position that you're having now. Imagine how many more years it would take for you to finally achieve what you have now. Is it worth it, darling? So what do you suggest, mom? What should I do to resolve this situation? To be honest, I thought you would react in a completely different way. I mean, you should be the most delighted and cheerful person in our family to be able to receive such good news. Last time I remember, you said you had been waiting for too long and you demanded that I give you a grandchild immediately. But that was before your job promotion. Don't you get the idea? Look, the best and only resolution you can adopt right now is to terminate your pregnancy. Just get rid of the kid for now. It's only one week old, right? So it shouldn't be that difficult. Mom, how on earth can you conveniently talk about that cruel act with such ease? You're also a mom and you should know better than anyone how precious a child is to their parents. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you're forcing me to give up my kids just so that I can work my butt off and fulfill your crazy ambitions? I even made sure you're the first person who I confided in. Don't you dare oppose what I have to say. I'm Christian's mother. I'm the most powerful and wisest person in this family, so I will have the final say on everything. All you have to do is follow my rules. No questions asked. Mom just called me sobbing. She said that she was very displeased about being insulted by you earlier. I can't do anything but feel sorry for her. What did you say to her that made her feel so upset? I didn't say anything hurtful that could potentially harm her. I swear, me and Valerie were just talking about the child I'm carrying in my tummy. Our child, Christian. What? So we, we are expecting a baby too? I thought you being promoted to become a manager and having a pay raise was the biggest surprise of the day. Are you as excited and overly happily as I am right now, Christian? We will soon become parents. Isn't it amazing? Well, about that, my mom also talked about this and she said it's not a good idea to have a child at the moment. What? Did she say that to you too? I mean... She has a point, you know. Our entire family depends on your salary to get by. If being pregnant stands in the way of your professional success, wouldn't it be the best if you just, you know, take a couple of abortion pills? Have you lost your mind? How can you come up with such a heinous idea like your mom? You don't deserve to be my husband and the father of my kid. Don't you see? Me and my mom are just trying to help you think rationally and make the right choice. Look, if you're trying to talk me out of my decision, I'm sorry to break it to you, but it's never gonna work. I'm keeping this child, no matter what it costs. I know that you love your child, so do I. But Angela, there's something I haven't told you about. I just got a dismissal letter from my boss. They're kicking me out of the company. It means that the burden of bird winner now lies on your shoulders, Angela. Why all of a sudden? I know. I was also caught off guard by that news. But what can I do? Anyways, it's up to you to decide what course of action to take in this situation. But if you truly want what's best for our family, then I suggest you do as my mom told you to. Mom, tell me, what are you up to? 
What are you trying to say? Make it more specific. You've been acting really strange these days. You tried to trip me up many times and made it feel like an accident. You placed all sorts of stuff on the floor to make me stumble upon them. If I wasn't careful, I would have fallen down and lost my baby. Or is that what you actually want? For me to lose my child? Be careful with your groundless accusations, Angela. Think twice before saying anything without proof, will you? You want proof? Fine. What about the abortion pills I found in your purse? Aren't they enough to be considered proof? Don't think I'm too dumb to know you were secretly adding it to my food. Luckily, I'm always on my guard whenever you're around, so I didn't fall into your nasty trap. How dare you rummage through my belongings like that? What you did was an invasion of my privacy. Don't make me call the police. And what makes you so sure that the pills are for you? Mom, don't make me laugh now. If they weren't meant for me, then what do you use it for? Yourself? <laughs> Insolence. To think my son actually married a woman like you. Those pills are for our cat, Lucky. That cat got herself into trouble and now I have to help her get rid of the fetus. What? For the cat? <laughs> nice trying to defend yourself. But Lucky is a male cat, Mom. How can a male cat get pregnant? It's enough. You don't have to waste time inventing excuses after excuses anymore. Because the whole process of your crime has already been recorded. What do you mean recorded? What have you done? Well, it's nothing to talk about really. I just happened to set up some hidden cameras in every corner of our house and just as I thought, your devilish act was busted from the beginning to the end. How dare you do that to me, you evil witch. What? Shouldn't I be the one who gets to say that? How dare you put an abortifacient drug in my food? I literally don't have the slightest idea what drove you to come up with a twisted and humane scheme. You don't understand? It was you who forced me to do that in the first place. You left me no choice. You're well aware of the fact that Christian is now unemployed. Yet, you still hang on to your stubbornness and keep the child. All I did was just to save our family from going bankrupt and end up living on the streets. Your cruel action almost cost me my child. I can't bear living with a selfish and manipulative person like you anymore, Valerie. I've already submitted the video to the police and accused you of forced abortion. You'll be facing your own demon in the upcoming trial. You did what? What kind of daughter-in-law takes legal action against her own mother? Based on what you did to me, I don't even consider you my mother-in-law anymore, Valerie. If I were you, I wouldn't bother hiring a lawyer because there's no way you can escape your vile crime. The video I provided the police with was strong evidence, and just as I expected, the court ruled in my favor. Eventually, my mother-in-law was sent to two years in prison, guilty of forced abortion. Valerie's big ego took its toll on her, and not one time did she ever say sorry for the crime she committed. Feeling betrayed by my husband, I decided on a separation. The fact is, he didn't take my side nor resort to any measures to defend me against his own evil mother and completely hurt my feelings and broke my trust in him. We still talk to each other once in a while, but I know that the emotional damage I took was too severe to heal, at least not now. My career still goes uphill, and they didn't fire me at all. In fact, my boss even gave me a pay raise so that I could take better care of my kid. In the end, the special bond between a mother and a child can never be broken. Now when I look back at it, I'm still proud of being able to keep my baby safe, despite constant pressure and the devilish acts of my mother-in-law.